Okay, so this lesson is for <clears throat> the first part of Introduction to Computer Programming, and this is uh, Lesson 1.10.5, is there a ball? And on this specific program uh, or problem, they're wanting you to have it where uh, create a program where if there's a condition, have it run, or if there, that condition does not exist, just go in and skip over it. And so this run button is this function start. Kind of like when you get the function turn right, uh, you, have, you have to create a function for it. So your, your, your function start is going to do whatever you have written in here. Um, the first thing we're going to do is say, okay, well, there's two worlds, has ball and there's no uh, has ball far. So true and false. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on trying to get this to work on both those worlds. And how we do that is we create a condition. And on your left hand side you have your if conditions and then these are your conditional statements and if they're true they'll do it if they're if they're not they'll skip it so in this case we're going to go let's get rid of that move and let's do the if if and we know that there's a ball there so let's say if there's no ball because in your second world there is none so let's try it like that first um, your boolean conditions usually are uh, true so uh, <coughs> if Let's go no present and why I said that is because right here there's no balls present so we can use that one and since we're going to be creating this like that now we're going to open up this statement because this is a statement now if there are no balls present what do we want it to do we want it to go ahead and put down a ball right because if there's none the program the exercise is saying go ahead and put one for this world, so, that's a command, that's a statement. And so now that we have that completed, so when we run it, it's going to go, okay, if there's a ball, no? Okay, put one. Here's a ball, though. So what do we want it to do? If there's one present, we're well, just going to tell it to go ahead and skip the if condition and go straight to the next line, which would be move. And so now, when you run your program, the first thing is going to check. You click run. It's going to go to the first line. It's going to say, hey, is there, if there are no balls present, there's one. Put ball, but there is one, right? So it's going to skip this statement altogether and go to the second, at seven, at line number seven. It's going to go skip, 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 and then go here, move. And it's going to move right over. So let's try it. There it is. So it skipped that first seven. However, let's see if there are no balls present, what would it do? Right? It's going to put it and then complete that condition. Then it's going to go to the move. So let's try that. Boom. There it is. So that's how you get it set up. Uh, it takes a little bit of practice. Uh, sometimes it can get confusing, but just remember with conditions, um, if you're wanting to check to see if it's true or if it's not usually. Uh, you go boolean conditions are, are true and then your false goes to, to, to your false ones. It's kind of difficult to explain, but uh, just keep practicing, you'll get better at it.